Hi, this is Melissa from Little Kosher Lunch. You can follow me online to find kosher style lunch ideas um, that I pack from my own preschooler to go to school with. Um, today, I wanted to share with you some ideas for Hanukkah since Hanukkah begins this week. Um, and in our family, the ideal Hanukkah gift is practical, it's useful, consumable, and inexpensive. Um, we don't like waste, we don't like wasted money, we have lots of toys. So here are some ideas that I wanted to share with you today. Um, the first one is a hostess gift or what would also make a really nice teacher gift. This is what I call a Hanukkah tower of treats with items that I've just picked up at the deli or grocery store. I have blue and white meringues that were at our local deli, a box of delicious dried apricots, a box of Hanukkah gelt, which you can see my family has already gotten into, and a small box of Hanukkah candles that again are super inexpensive and at most grocery stores. I had some leftover ribbon. I just tied it all up. There's no wrapping paper. There's very little waste. And all of these are things that someone could either use themselves or share with their family. Um, and it's Hanukkah appropriate with the candles and gelt. Um, another nice gift to take as a hostess gift if you're going to any parties this coming week is um, a beautiful jar of natural chunky applesauce. This one is from Trader Joe's. I stuck a Hanukkah bow on it and it's done. Again, very little waste or wrapping paper or time involved. If you're looking for other ideas, um, I scanned Trader Joe's for seasonal treats. They have beautiful snowflake pasta that also look like a shaggy little latke. You can pair that with a jar of nice crushed tomatoes. You can put a nice Parmesan cheese with it, wrap that up, put it in a gift bag. Every mother um, is feeding their child pasta several times a week and could certainly use more. Um, and then lastly, if you have someone with a sweet tooth um, that you'd like to gift to this week, um, also at Trader Joe's, I found beautiful blue and white packaged cookies. These are a sprinkled chocolate cookie. Um, they also have a little Jewish star cinnamon cookie with nuts, if you are a nut-friendly household. Um, and then these little Stroop waffle cookies that again are blue and white, beautiful. Tie it with a single bow and you're done. Um, these are things that I stock in my pantry um, or I'm always looking to replenish in my pantry new nice snacks for my family. So hopefully that will be of help to you this week. The next uh, gift idea is Hanukkah felt. Um, if you are a household like ours with a preschooler, you probably already have felt and other craft supplies in your cupboard. Um, I pick up felt at the craft store when it's 20 cents a sheet. We have a little stack like this and using um, a stack of felt and my kitchen shear scissors, I have cut out in about 30 minutes a little set of Hanukkah items, including a Hanukkah. Um, I cut out more than nine candles just so I have extra candles and my four-year-old or almost four-year-old loves to arrange um, and do different patterns and colors. She likes to pretend that she's lighting the Hanukkah. Um, I've made a platter with little latkes. Um, and depending on how much time you have, you know, you can do your dreidels, you can make gelt, um, you could do Maccabees, you could really go to town if you had the time. If you don't have a lot of time, I would say for 30 minutes of your time and maybe two to five dollars worth of felt, um, you can make a really nice Hanukkah set. And I package these up in a Ziploc and put them in an envelope to my family members back east as well. And they're a really fun gift and a learning kind of activity. Um, they make a big sheet of felt that's like a placemat, and this is really nice if you're going on an airplane this winter. And I make felt boards of all different themes and holidays. So Hanukkah felt is one idea, but you can do Rosh Hashanah felt, you can do Mr. Potato Head felt. Um, and again, you don't need to be able to sew or do anything, you just need to be able to use a pair of scissors. So Hanukkah felt is great. You can also buy black felt by the yard and I've clipped it onto an easel that we already own, so you don't need any um, special tools that you don't already have. Um, Hanukkah felt is inexpensive, practical, and consumable. Um, my next idea is, again, household items that you probably already have. Um, this is a Hanukkah play date kit 
that I made for my daughter to occupy her. We had a few days off school and I took items that we already had in the house. We had Play-Doh, we have dreidels that I keep from year to year. We always have Hanukkah candles and I just bought you know, this year's Hanukkah gelt that's fresh and I put dreidels, Play-Doh, candles and gelt in her lunchbox. So we already had the container and she loves to take the Play-Doh out, arrange it, make a Hanukkiah, stand her candles up in it, arrange them. Um, she can play dreidel if she wants, she can snack on her gelt. This week we were out of school and she took this to her grandparents' house. She took it on a play date to a museum. Um, and interestingly, because of the compartments, she loves to clean up her Hanukkah play date kit. So this is something that is cheap, practical and consumable. Um, when you're all done using it, you put your Play-Doh back in the cupboard. Um, and for some reason, having it all as a little kit was very exciting for my four-year-old daughter. Um, if you don't have a Planet Box lunchbox like we do, you could use um, a different type of Tupperware. You can use an Altoids box for a little miniature one um, and just have some dreidels and gelt. And then even a mason jar can be a Hanukkah play date kit where I filled it with colorful dreidels. You top it with lots of beautiful gelt. You can put the lid on it. You can top it with a Hanukkah bow and that's a really nice gift or hostess gift or um, on the fly gift for a child that maybe you hadn't planned for in advance. Um, the last a practical, consumable, and inexpensive gift that I wanted to mention for this year um, is a batch of Hanukkah latkes. And I haven't made mine yet. It takes a lot of time when I do it because I like to use a box grater for my latkes. Um, but there are certainly people who you may know or interact with um, this year who don't have the time or wherewithal to be making their own latkes. And certainly a homemade batch is a really special gift that you might be able to give if you're making your own this year. So I would make latkes for my family, um, any leftover, they are refrigeratable or freezable between two sheets of tin foil, put them in a Ziploc, and even though that's not very fancy looking, anyone who's ever made a latke knows that it's a lot of time and love and effort to go to. And it's no expense that you need to go to, no store, no line you need to wait in. Um, and again, very little waste just to put something in um, a Ziploc bag or put on a cookie sheet and give to a friend. So these are four ideas that I hope are helpful for you and your family. We have a Hanukkah Tower of Treats um, to give a food consumable gift as a hostess gift or other type of gift. We have Hanukkah Felt, which lasts all year long in our household and can be changed up. It's very easy to mail to someone if you have a gift to send in the mail. We have the gift of a Hanukkah play date kit. Again, it's just about repackaging things that you already have at home. And the gift of latkes, which I think very few of us think about, but my mother has made and given me her homemade latkes. Um, it saved me a night of cooking and I was very, very grateful. So thank you for watching today. Please follow me as Little Kosher Lunch on Instagram and Facebook, and thank you for your time.